Hello, in this video, this quick video, I'm going to show you how to install ExpressVPN on your Ubuntu Linux system. All right. So once you purchase your VPN uh, Express, uh, your ExpressVPN subscription, go to your dashboard and click the Linux icon. All right. So now what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to verify what type of operating system you're running. You might be running a 64-bit system or you might be running a 32-bit system. Right, so to figure that out, here's what you do go to your settings, all right? Go to the about section, all right? Click about. The only reason why mine is chosen is because I had this window open previously, all right? Go to the OS type and look to the right. You can see here that I'm running a 64 bit system, right? You might be running a 32 bit, right? Now, what you're going to do is you're going to download. The file it'll be saved by default to your downloads folder okay let's replace it because I already had it downloaded now what you're going to do is you're going to go to your downloads folder navigate to your downloads folder All right and now you're going to take the following command All right the install file name is the file that you just downloaded so let me quickly look for that file that file is right here I'm going to copy it let's clear the screen clean things up a bit and now you're going to type this And you're going to go in, then you're going to type, you're going to paste in the name of the file you just downloaded. It's going to install. Let's navigate back to the home directory. And now you're going to need to activate your ExpressVPN subscription, right? So just type ExpressVPN, go back to your dashboard and copy the activation code. Right. Make sure the Linux uh, 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 link is still chosen. You don't want to click accidentally click the wrong one and choose the wrong activation code. Okay, because it's not going to work. Right. You come here, type ExpressVPN, activate. Right. Mine is already activated, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to deactivate it so I can activate it again, so you can see exactly what it looks like. Would you like to log out? Yes. Right. Now it's asking me for the activation code. This is exactly what it's going to do for you. So I'm going to paste it in. The only reason why you can't see it is because by default Linux systems they hide passwords. Right? So now it's activated. Now let's connect to Spain. But first check to see what the status is. ExpressVPN status. I'm not connected. Right? Now I created a script where I can use the uh, who is to find out what IP address that I have. So my script is who is Jeff. So my name is Jeff. This is my IP address. All right now we're going to connect to Spain. Press VPN. Connect Spain. All right. It says I'm connected. Express VPN status so you can see it again right now what we're going to do is I'm going to check to see what my IP address is now who is Jeff here's my IP address completely masked right now to disconnect just type disconnect and the country that you're connected to let's check the status not connected let's check who is Jeff and here's my IP address the only reason why you I'm only showing you my IP address is because this is not a static IP right I'm running a dynamic IP from my uh, service provider right so this is going to change and I've got some decent firewalls in place so that's pretty much it now there's one thing that you need to understand about VPNs right VPNs do not protect you from doing anything illegal on the internet 
I'm going to repeat that. They do not protect you from doing anything illegal on the internet. What VPNs are good at for services like ExpressVPN, right? They own, they're only good at masking your IP address, right? You know, like you saw, I connected to Spain, right? So if I wanted to access TV shows in Spain, all I have to do is connect to Spain using my VPN and I'll have access to those shows. Right. The reason why VPNs do not protect you from doing anything illegal on the Internet is because when you connect to a VPN service like ExpressVPN, they need your information. Like right now, I'm located in New York. Right. The only way for ExpressVPN to tunnel my information out to their servers and back to my computer is if they knew exactly where I was located, which means what? which means they know what computer system I'm using, they know my location, they know my IP address, they know what time I logged on, they know pretty much everything, which means what? If you do something illegal, right, the authorities have the right to contact ExpressVPN to request the information, although it might be, might be difficult, but it's not, it, it, it's not to say it's impossible, right? Take it from somebody who's been in the network engineering field for well over eight years. Right, I know how to build VPNs from scratch and I know exactly how they work. Right, take my word for it. Don't go out there and do anything stupid and think you're protected. Right, now uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this video.